Hi, I'm Merrick Dometto. And I'm Classic Gamer. And welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword, the Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars Director's Cut. You wanna know something? <laughs> you wanna know something funny about this game's title? What? It drops the the from Shadow of the Templars. That's it. Yeah. Doesn't really show the title here, but uh, yeah, it um, it doesn't I have the the. The lad was doing his best to express his adolescent aggression. His effort was somewhat diminished by the fringe of milk on his light feathered upper lip. So you know when you speak to like um, Mr. O'Brien in the pub, uh, when he says, "Are you a reporter or a journalist or anything like that?" Say yes to it. Okay. Oh look, the towel's not under his arm anymore. It's on the edge of the bar. Well, that's a lot easier to get. It was a beer-stained piece of toweling. It was a beer-stained piece of toweling. You've already said that, George. The guy sat in the corner as if he was a permanent fixture. I'd been taught not to judge people by their appearance or their clothes or the length of their hair. Nobody ever said anything about runny noses. What a beautiful freeze frame that was we caught. The young red-haired guy what? was plainly nervous. Just him mid-sneeze with the snot oh. <laughs> The white whiskers on the bartender's flushed face I moved my eyes were like for a few seconds on the Christmas tree. I missed tree. it. The resemblance ended there. The top of his head was too slick and shiny to act as a perch for a Christmas angel. The guy sat in the corner as if he was a permanent fixture. There was a vacant look on his cow-like face that said quite clearly, nobody home. How can you tell? His face is invisible. Hi there, old timer. What? Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner, pious prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It is the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police? No. I'd know it if you were. Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. You mean get you drunk? Isn't that what it's supposed to do? Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Lockbarn Castle is haunted. That's what the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own eyes. Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee, stunted beast. Long beak, straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Loch Barn? That'll be the day. No, that was a ghost, to be sure. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmar. Oh! Do you know Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? No, I don't know him. What's that you're making? It's a necklace, me bucko. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. When my little lover feels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All mine. 
What an odd person. I'll <laughs> see you later. I thought he doesn't drink the My stuff that Jerry sells. Please to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. What can you tell me about the castle? Maybe There's it just there. doesn't drink the beer. Dr. Maybe that, that looks like it's more like How whiskey old? or something. I really couldn't yeah, tell you. Because there's whiskey in the jar. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes, uh, when I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell the radio, up, broke his head found the radio, there's whiskey there in the jar. You haven't been up there recently? No. Do you know Professor Pegram? He's the archaeologist, uh, isn't he? That's right. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? The fact that you have square hair in the in the game world and round hair in your picture. Can I get you another drink? Oh, no, thank you. I, I should round be glasses the on, on his hat, but over square in his picture. Yep. More than a pint, and I'll pass out. No. No. I'm not repeating what later. you said. <laughs> that was what I always say. Some of these are not the same. I think you have to then you have to talk to Maguire and Doyle to get the information that he was at the uh, dig. That's the idea, anyway. Why are you walking around in a circle? <laughs> oh, trying you waiting for that. As soon as the old guy looked away, I grabbed his piece of wire. <laughs> I think that's another uh, charge Hello of theft. Again. Can add your rap what? sheet, George? Here, this wire belongs to you. Oh no! Never saw it before. No. You could make use of this tissue. Never use them. Those things are unhygienic. You're unhygienic. I'll see you later. Hi, my name's Stobart, George Stobart. Hello there, mister. What can I do for you? Do you know Professor Pegram? Do I know him? Do I know the good professor himself? No, I don't. I mean, None of their mouths move anymore. Is. It's really disappointing. I don't know him to talk to. Some of them do, but not all of them. <laughs> like his very clearly did before. Yep. Do you know anything about Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. Is that a fact? What the hell for? Here's the science of archaeology, Puff. Understanding how people used to live by what they've left behind. One day archaeologists I may just be realized that he is in his Imagine wrong that, hand. Mr. O'Brien. Yeah, well, that, that's what him. Oh, well, no, yeah, you're right. Be yeah, speakers. it's in his left hand, Personal our left, so it'll be his left, our right. Likely. No, it's, it's his. Huh. Weird. His left, our left. Did anyone from the village work at Pegram's dig? So I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. What a nerve. Hadn't I dug more holes than the rest of them put together? Do you remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? Hmm. Let me see now. I think me brain box needs a spot of lubrication. Can I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink for my friend here. Who? Doyle? Has he conned you into buying for him? Shame on you, Patrick. Leary looks um, the same again. as his Just his the point point his model. Model looks the One same. point of red coming yeah. up. Do you remember Sean Fitzgerald now? I can picture the scene as if it was only last week. Come to think of it, it was only last week. Uh -huh. Fitzgerald was there all right. Him and a bunch of students. He was speaking with the boss man. Can you tell me anything about the castle on the hill? Oh, I don't know much about anything. You should ask Mr. O'Brien here. He does joined up writing. Would you be one of them history fellows yourself? Say yes. Yes? Really? What did we say before? I think we said yes before. Um... We, we said no before. I thought we said yes. We lied to, about everything last time. Okay, then say 
Oh no, no, I'm here on vacation. What's that? A vacation part. It's what the Americans call a holiday. Oh right. In Lock Oh, we did say no because I remember this conversation. Oh shit, never mind. Sure, it's a very yeah, pretty place. Where the but, hell are you uh, from? Say yes to Mr. O'Brien. I know it. That's where the prunes come from. <laughs> yeah, amongst other things. What do you make of this tool? It's for lifting manhole covers. Right, I remember everyone in Bye fucking Ireland knows what a man the manhole cut the, the, the sewer key is. Apparently. Hello there. Because uh, I guess they're just smarter than the French. No, it's the New Zealand. Hey Mobrain. Can I help you? Oh my god, they just flipped the things oh. <laughs> oh. That, is, that is brilliant. That is actually brilliant. That's actually quite ingenious. So this is the so it's technically the other one's just the flipped uh, horizontal uh, 180. Do you know Sean Fitzgerald? Yeah. Yes, I do. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about working at the dig. I can't imagine anyone in playing Sean no. Fitzgerald on a dig. You he know what's funny? A post hole from his elbow. Funny about because uh, I got my little friend here, my cat Sebastian. If I stick, if I let my hand dangle off of my chair. There will just be cat in that hand in seconds. <laughs> what you mean, like headbutting you? Like headbutting is like, I will like the scratches now. Have you heard of the Phantom? More than that, I've seen it, and let me tell you, it's a dreadful spectacle. So it's not just a local legend. There really is a Phantom of Loch Marne. Oh no, I was talking about the Phantom of the Opera. He's in his own point-and-click adventure game called Return of the Phantom. It's it exists. Of all the point and click adventure games, it's certainly one of them. Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? I most certainly have. A remarkable institution. Did you know? They were the originators of our system of credit. Their financial empire stretched from the Atlantic to the Caspian Sea. With bases in so many countries, they had to establish new methods of fiscal transfer. So, the Knights Templar were nothing but a bunch of bankers. I don't get it. Are you saying these Templar guys invented bank charges? In a manner of speaking, I suppose they did. What a dirty trick. Didn't anyone try to stop them? Oh yes, they were arrested and many were burnt at the stake. Good, they bloody well deserved it if they were anything like my bank manager. Yeah, that's actually true. The Templars were the original creators of the bank system. Uh, that's what they lent out loans and stuff like that. This guy's still a bloody idiot. Yep. What can you he tell me about the though. castle, Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, you know. Most of the existing building was added much later, of course. Are the ruins open to the public? Oh no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. How can I get into the castle? Well, those walls were built specifically to stop people getting in, Mr. Stobart. But I dare say, you'll find a way, if you've the will. Can you tell me about the tripod which was found at the castle? Now, there's a bone of contention and controversy. It was dug up by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? Professor Pegram. The same man who dug up the gem. Do you know where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. A saw point with our esteemed host, I might add. Do you know where Pegram has gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. He hooked anchor in the dark and shipped out before the dark. Why did he do that? Who knows? A guilty conscience or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Lachmar. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to normal. What can you tell me about the gem which Pegram found? Now there's a gem, which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to covet that stone. What's your interest in the jewel? You're not a reporter, are you? Okay, I remember we definitely said we weren't. We're gonna have to... Everyone's gonna be mean to us now. But George deserves it, so let's go. Yes, that's yep. right. And not a bloody news hound. Well, you're wasting your time here, boy. You find the people of Lachman are a tight-lipped and cautious lot. Why? Have you got something to hide? It's just that we don't like to wash our dirty laundry in public. Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? Well, why don't you ask him yourself, Mr. Ace Reporter? 
see what I mean about him changing Goodbye his tune towards you. Uh, good riddance yeah. to you. So will he be rude about all our items? Me, Mr. O'Brien. Hello there. What now? Uh, I don't think so. What do you make of this piece of wire? It looks ordinary enough to me. Oh no, he's pretty. That's pretty regular. All right. Goodbye all right. for now. Uh, good riddance to you. Top of the morning to you. Oh, for sure. I sake. beg your pardon. Well, that's what you Irish say, isn't it? Do you want something? Or are you just flaunting your xenophobia? Well, I, I was trying to be sociable. Big Jacksepticeye hmm. fan, I guess after. George Stobart is. I'm sorry, did he is ask? What was the is question? Is you're after? Uh, uh, say, uh, say no. No, thank you. I don't plan to stay too long. Who does? Most folk take one look at Loch Martin and jump back on the bus. <laughs> Tell me about... The fucking Pennywise. Have you served any, uh, clowns recently? No. You're the first today. Ah. Uh, now, it baffles me that we're still asking about clowns. Bro. Well, because we, know we know he we shipped... We not his second costume yet, do we? No, but we saw him ditch the costume and we have his nose. <laughs> If you make a valid point, I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't find any argument for that one, mate. And we know that the last two time that before the clown, he had been we that George knows of, a snowman and a giant fecking penguin. Yep, and a mine. And we know that Seamus the pixie, was the next costume he rent the other costume he hired out. We don't know if he's used that yet. True, but we know that's a costume he would use in this area. Now, granted, if George comes up to the bartender, and after saying top of the morning to you, asks about fecking leprechauns, he's going to get thrown out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, right? Top of the morning to you. Have you seen any leprechauns? Get the fuck out of my pub. Get the fuck out of me, pub, mate. Do you know a man called Pegram? Indeed I do. Are you a friend of his, by any chance? I think we said oh, yes, no. say no to this I'm one. I'm just trying to track him down. Me oh, okay. Too. That son of a bitch should be locked away. Did Pegram stay here? Yes, he did. Six nights plus breakfast. Six breakfasts? Or just six nights and he only had breakfast once? This is all important six information. Nights. I'll try a glass of beer, please. Six nights. Is this your I mean, first pint of real ale? Uh, well, I guess so. What's real ale, anyhow? Beer that's brewed from natural ingredients to traditional methods. It shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. And finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat and worn with bits in, and it makes you fall over. It's funny that you don't see any money exchange. Well, no, he's, he has a tab, apparently. Fair enough. Look, I gotta be going. We have to find out from Maguire first as well, don't forget. Mr. Fitzgerald? Doyle told me you definitely worked at the dig. He's seen you there. You might as well admit it. I knew this would happen. I okay, knew I'd get enough. caught. I need to talk to Professor Pegram, if he's still alive. What do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah, you too, if I'm right. You're not from the social security. Hell no. Oh no, his glasses are square if he turns his head. Well, uh, I was claiming benefits oh, at the yeah, same time great. I was working for Pegram. I'm not in a position to make judgments, Sean. That's between you and your conscience. All I want is to talk to Pegram about the gem. But he's not here! I know that. But he left that package with you, didn't he? So where did Pegram go? I don't know. I swear it. He came to see me early this morning. Said he was leaving. He asked me to give this package to a guy called Marque. Show me what's in the package, Sean. I, I can't do that. Why not? I promised the professor. So what? You didn't have any qualms about your benefit scam. So where's the harm in taking a peek inside Pegram's package? You don't know these people. I can't. I don't dare. This is your last chance to show me the package, Fitzgerald. I've been patient with you, but now it's time to kick ass. But he'll kill me. Who will? I'm from Paris. 
Jack Marquet? Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double-crossed Marquet, I'd be dead. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. Give the package to me. No. Why should I trust you? I don't know who to trust anymore. I wish I'd never even heard of the Lockmarn gem. Now, I'm, I'm guessing that everyone here is the car outside, hey, so they know something must have happened. Get out of here, Maguire. Come back when you're old enough. What's the lad howling about? A big red sports car. Sean Fitzgerald's been run over. Get out! Noisy little tyke. Maybe you should send out some medicinal brandy maker. Oh, yes. And who's going to pay for it? Not me. Me too, neither. They have the same face. Oh! Oh, feck you! Truth about Fitzy, Mister. What? Okay, okay, calm down. <coughs> Tell me the what scene. happened. I was standing here, minding my own business, when I saw this beautiful That's red sports different. car coming up over the hill. Oh, okay, here we go. I thought they cut this out. Says I, and I going oh, over wow. to take a closer look. Next thing. Fitzy comes tearing out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass, but the car just flies at him. It was too fast for poor old Fitzy, and hit him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. I thought he was a goner. Next thing, the driver hops out, oh, and I couldn't blood. believe my eyes. I mean, the car is definitely CGI now. He's dressed like but... a bloody pixie. What did you say, by the way? Um, they removed the blood. Oh, I pushed the switch down, but in doing so, it snapped off in my hand. The plastic cover had been smashed and broken away, revealing a switch. So compared to the original, can you see why I, I prefer the original over the breakfast cup? Yes. Do you hear the little, like, sound that it makes whenever you get something wrong? Yes. <laughs> Almost like a, a sound effect you get when, when a, a hey, spark effect. What? Indeed. Did this pixie have a scar on his cheek? I couldn't see. He was wearing a stupid mask. Are you a special agent? Sorry to disappoint you, kid, but I'm not. Did Fitzgerald drop anything when he was hit? I didn't see. It all happened so fast. Maybe the package fell somewhere out of sight. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Yeah, if you watch carefully in the cutscene, I wasn't going to say this before, but if you watch carefully in the cutscene, you actually see the gem fly out. From yeah, I, 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 I did see that. The trap door. Yeah, I didn't use it the, the first inside. time, but... It was a I trap door in the side. I will admit, I never saw it originally. I noticed that. I also noticed that the car is now a CGI model. I didn't notice that, to be honest. Maybe I should have done. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir? May I have another beer, please? Certainly, sir. Same again? Yeah, please. How is this stuff made? That's the secret of the master brewer, sir. Each batter is lovingly manhandled in time-honored fashion, suspended on skillfully tied ropes of the finest hemp. Lowered into the cellar, utilizing the forces of original gravity, like manner from heaven. I'm sorry, but the pump appears to be broken. I could fix it for you. I don't think so. This is a job for a professional electrician. Oh, well, at least the glass washer is still working. It's not my dear, is it? Wait, I just realized. What? Is that now in context foreshadowing? What? Because of the Mano from Heaven thing. Because that was the monatomic gold from the last game. No, I don't think so. Yeah, fair enough. Because that, that's referred to as, as the, what the mana actually is. 
No, I, I no, I don't know. We don't, just if, so if we happens, came to Ireland, I'm then an electrician. Check out my maybe, credentials. But... Well, no, isn't that marvelous? <laughs> Here's a house bedeviled with faulty wiring of a wayward nature. Here's you, an electric man, with a little plastic card to prove it. I certainly am an electric man. I still want to see what you can do before I let you touch me beer pumps. You can make a start on the glass washer. Why don't go down to the basement before you do anything with the... Uh, and when you finish that, water. will you take a look at the pumps? Before you do anything... It with was the an pump. electrical plug attached plug. to the glass Try washer. Try going down to the cellar see what, and see what he says. Try going down to the cellar? Um, can you not go down there? Is no, it? he's oh, in the way. They, they, yeah, but in the original, they, 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 didn't, they didn't remove it. Oh, they removed it. Okay. Oh, no, I think if you try and talk into him... Excuse me. Might... Uh, yes, sir? All oh, right, fair enough. Look, Maybe not. I gotta be going. All right, just, just, you know what to do, sir. How do I get the thing open outside? I can't hear that I forget. Uh, you have to go down the, in the base in the cellar I used and all uh, my find the electrical engineering to examine the plug. You have no knowledge of electrical uh, engineering. What the hell did George do? He was facing. It was an electric glass out. washer. It looked even older than the bar. I think he's spun round for no reason. I couldn't he's... see anything obviously wrong with the machine. Huh? I figured it must be the wiring. No, use it, use it with the plug. There you go. I replaced the fuse with a piece of wire. I knew it was dangerous. But I was desperate enough to disregard everything I knew about standard safety precautions. Excuse me, Mr. Leary. I fixed your glass washer, no problem. Bingo! And a blessing to all the saints. A free half pint to that man on the house. Now, could you take a look at the beer pumps? Oh, I guess so. I think we've got to get up to the roof promises. first. If you can't fix them, I'll have a riot on me hands. <laughs> the pumps are in well, the Well, you, you said there's a free right. half pint on the house. You'll find a flashlight down there somewhere. Right? Yes, well, you know what that means, thank you. Ah, uh, yes, I do. I'm making a joke. Okay, no, <laughs> it's half a pint and it's free, because the the, yep. the bar pays for it. Yep. I pushed the lever and heard the grating of metal, but nothing appeared to happen. You have to open the trap door first before you see anything down there. So we gotta go back upstairs. Yep, and outside and open the trap door. I'm so glad that you can actually skip um It was impossible to return the switch to its original position. You can skip um walking across a vast amount of uh <laughs> What am I meant to do actually exactly? Open the trap door. Oh, I don't do anything with this? No. Oh. You've, already done, you've already done what you did with that. I lifted the trap door and an overpowering smell of stale beer rose from the what cellar What you do with that is that, that, that's the um, switch for the beer floor. pumps. Way too far to jump. Pardon? Oh, Hold on, I'll see excuse you in me. There was a nasty feeling in my guts I usually associated with light opera. It was Khan. What's the problem? Did you see what happened here a few minutes ago? What was that? A man was involved in an unfortunate accident. I didn't see anything. What about the boy? Well, he doesn't know anything either. The kid, well, you know how it is in these rural communities. Not enough genes to go around. I prayed McGuire had the sense to keep his mouth shut. Was the guy hurt bad? He's been taken care of, but he thinks he dropped a small parcel. You didn't happen to find it, did you? If I had, I would have taken it to the police. Of course. Thank you. So the, the switch that you break off in the cover that's broken, that's the switch for the beer pumps, and that's why the beer pumps don't work. Oh, all right. Now I could see. I spotted Mr. Lewis. And that's the, uh, if you don't know that, you'll be wandering around the, the, the area. Then I noticed a flash of light. That Something to sparkling to beneath the open trap door. So most people would go over to it and do that, but they wouldn't necessarily think that... It was Pegram's it was gem, all right. A large, uncut blue stone. I guess I was already under its spell. Did you find it? What? 
Whatever you was looking for. Uh, yeah. Listen, McGuire. I want you to keep this to yourself. No problemo. Just chuck us up a crate of lager. No way. You're not old enough. We can sell it and make some cash. Forget it, kid. I couldn't betray Mr. Leary's trust. I could, for sure. Trust. Dad, the first thing you said to him was a racist deserves. remark. Mm -hmm. If you want to do me a favor, keep a lookout <laughs> for that guy in the suit. Okay. But it'll cost you a pack of the chips. Oh, and shout if you see that Ferrari. How last time you um you left the faucet running? Don't leave it running this time. Turn it oh, off okay. once you've done what you need to do a bit. Uh, something occurs to me. What? We don't have any plaster of Paris. No, not yet. Oh, plaster. okay. I was worried we didn't. We we missed it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We get that at the castle. You don't have to talk to the farmer about everything that he's got. To, you've got to say to him either. I know. That's been the plan thus far. Just, just enough to get into bugger off so you can get out of the haystack. The farmer's craggy face was set in a mask of aesthetic appreciation. His feet were set in a pair of manure caked boots. Hi, do you speak English? Well, no. Uh, what if I was to say <laughs> no? An implication of cognizance shrouded in denial. A pretty poser of a paradox indeed. I gave him the look I'd perfected when I was 12 and was going to be the greatest hypnotist of all time. It was a killer. Are you attempting to hypnotize me, or is it the constipation you're suffering? I was a little out of practice. What can you tell me about the castle? Not much, I'm sorry to say. Most of its history is long forgotten. Ah, but if these old stones could only speak, what stories they'd tell. Stories to make your toes curl and your blood run cold. You know, this castle is said to be over 600 years old. Have you seen Professor Pegram? No, he's packed up and gone. Do you happen to know where? Back in England, I suppose. It Did you happen to see a red old. sports car down because on the road? Because the tempers were around a lot, a lot longer than that. The hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. The driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Is that so? Yeah. He knocked somebody down outside the bar. What an idiot! How could a thing like that happen? He was traveling too fast. So fast, he ran right under the car? I mean, the car was traveling too fast. But you'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming. Maybe you know the guy who was hit by the Ferrari. His name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew, the idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. But he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you could report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money on the Ferrari. Fair enough. I think you ought to know exactly what Sean I put my money on something. someone running away. I'm not it's sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. You're right, but what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the haystack. Oh, nev I'd never, I'd never do that. Dilemma. Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. Or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard. It'll need some thinking about. Why, there's no problem. You're right. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! Except I me, of course. I should start me inquiries in the bar. Well, I can't warn myself. Well, no, I, I am warning myself, but I mean... He strode off in the no one said I had to heed my own warning. ...leaving me to contemplate the stack of I, I, I forgot about how, like, you then, you had your first talk to him, like, do you speak English? <laughs> it's, it's Ireland, but... A stack of hay stopped. Uh, Generally, sure they would. Wall. Even if I stretched as far as I, I could, the wall sort of was like... out of reach. What I needed oh, the, was a there is an Irish language, but it's... 
you're, you're rarely going to encounter that. They, there's no one who's unilang, unilang eh, who's unilingually, um, who only speaks the Irish language that I know of. I remember, it. it's, a, it's a small crack in the in the wall. There you go. I pushed my fingers into the narrow crack. They you didn't put your fingers into anything, in George. Your face in the camera with your hand outstretched. I inserted the end of the lifting key in the mortarless crack and gave it a firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. I tugged at the lifting key and found it was held quite securely. He's lucky though he's not in uh, in carry. Carry. Uh, County Kerry in Ireland. Because oh. they speak English. Uh, but you'd be hard pressed to have any fucking clue what they're saying. <laughs> You have to move it first, I think. The rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. I remember that I being a like... lot harder. Original, like I had to like faint him out before. Yeah. So like in the original. The way they make it different in the original is that if you try going for that first, he'll butt you over anyway, and then and then you have to make him butt you over on the right, and then run to the left. So they take out the difficulty cap. Because mm. it is quite a hard puzzle. I remember being stuck on it for quite a while. As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, I realized what it was. Crack Master rock cocaine. Paris. <laughs> I've used it in kindergarten <laughs> to make casts of animal paw prints. I reached into the sack, but it was empty. How the, the puzzles are a little bit different. Ooh. See, now you get a zoomed in thing. So you actually see what it was the statue, a statue looks like, which had fallen cool. from its place on the wall. Five fingers of stone projected from the back of the carving. The, the statue was weak, too heavy to so. lift. It overbalanced into the sand. As I swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. I think you can smooth the um, plaster out as well. I placed my right. fingers and thumb into the holes in the wall. Nothing happened. The patch of sand where the statue had fallen was covered with a dense sprinkling of plaster. No, you're not. Oh, no, I can. smoothed the plaster level with the sand. It was my first experience of home improvement. So in this in this one as well, it, it's going to be easy in the sense of getting up here with the wet towel, because you can basically skip most of like the walking across the screen that George does. Off to the the right, that's it. I can't believe this, but we're actually going to get the island done in one video. <laughs> the entirety hey, of Ireland. Maguire. What? The Emerald Isle. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. He's not here. What? The the far the the farmer. Oh, no, he was here right. before. He's like he, he was here hanging yeah. out. I don't know. I don't. I don't know where he is. I don't know. Fair enough. Hey. Hello there again, mister. Bye for now. 
I don't think there's anything to talk Excuse to anyone me, about. Mr. O'Brien. Hello there. What now? I have a suspicion that Fitzgerald might have been given something by Pegram. I thought he acted strangely. I'm talking about the gem. It was something he said. Were well, you not speaking to him when he ran out of the bar? I only asked him about the gem. Fitzgerald has troubles enough already. He's a nervous, unstable man at the best of times. The last thing he needs is to be harassed by a hot newsboy. Goodbye for now. Uh, good riddance to you. You say Excuse the last thing he needs yes, to be harassed by you, but yet you're not out looking I gotta for be going. <clears throat> So now you want to um, soak the towel and then turn off the uh, faucet. The faucet creaked, coughed, and spewed out a stream of rusty colored water. Towel. That's it. I, mean, did, I didn't know this was a towel because it looks like a dollar. <laughs> and then uh, off I held goes. the towel under the faucet and soaked it with water. I shut off the faucet as tight as I could, but it kept on dripping. Also, what order did we do um, uh, Syria and Spain? Was it Spain first, then Marie? It was Spain then... first, then Syria. Why don't we do um, Syria first? Good idea. Because I think we both want to see you buy a kebab. You buy a kebab. Mmm, most good. Mmm. Most good. Filthy. Bad. Bad. I kill you. Some black water? The trickle of water was quickly <laughs> no, absorbed right. by the plaster. I eased the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Now it's in your inventory. The hardened plaster cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. There was a soft thud, then silence. And then there were none. <laughs> uh, what would Mr. Pothole think of George Stobart? Um. George, Miss, Monsieur Stobart, you have, I do not think, the little gray cells, no? I was just about to say that. I do not think Mr. you have Stubber, the little grey cells. I would tell you to use your little grey cells, but I don't think your privileged mind has them. Okay, now we're Nico. Yep, check the um, answer machine messenger first. I think there might be a message for you. I had messages waiting to be played. You have three messages. Hey, Collard, it's me, your favorite editor. Ah, uh, guess what? I'm gonna give you a second chance. I need somebody to write the TV column. Pays lousy, so what's new? If you're interested, drop by the office. In fact, drop by the office anyway. We have to talk, Nico. That story of yours I spiked. It won't go away. You've made some dangerous enemies out there. Hey, Nico, it's your old pal. I mean, your new pal, George. Whoa, Ireland. <laughs> It's a whole different country. No. And I got some amazing news for you. Gem of a story, in fact. Oh, oh, gotta go. Yeah, fella here's got a drink lined up for me. See you tomorrow, Nico. Slonsha. Yep, only here for a day and I'm speaking the lingo like a local. Mademoiselle Coulard, this is Imel de Carchon. I wanted to thank you for being so understanding when... Come to lunch, why don't you? Tomorrow. I might have more news. There's a Monsieur Merlon coming to see me this evening. He says he knows why Pierre Ooh. was murdered. In fact, he'll be here shortly. I shall let you know what he says. Goodbye, dear girl. Till tomorrow. Merlin? Oh my God. Merlin's the killer. I better get over there and mourn her now. When it came to being two-faced, Imelda was up there with the best. I owed her nothing, but I couldn't just let her die. I arrived to find the Palais Royal courtyard deserted. I only hoped that I'd beaten the assassin here. I had to warn Imelda before it was too late. Now, this seems like a perfect place to call it an episode before we have another 
wonderful series, a wonderful bit focused on Nico. Okay. Because new content is always cool. Yep. But I think I know how we're going to deal with the with the guy. We're going to pick the lock with our hairpin, and then brain him with our carved wooden elephant. <laughs> well, this is I think this is the uh, final no. bit of the uh, of Nico's, I believe. Hello, that is interesting, actually, I just noticed. What? Look at the tear marks on the picture of Nico's father. Yeah. Look at the tear marks of uh, the picture of Karshan. They don't match. They do not match at all. That means there's a whole middle part missing. Or they're not from the same picture. Uh, no. We will unbent this shell casing, fill it with this, and then fire it at him using uh, this. Uh, no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was held in place by wires. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't art after all. Maybe it was a cell phone transmitter. People say, what's the point of modern art? As uh, earlier in the game, there's actually a cop Isn't outside. Now, I don't think she understands the basic laws of physics. Because, uh, about why there are wires holding it up. Do you well, know what this it. thing would do if there weren't wires attached to it? Probably fall over and crush you. Completely. It, mm, if we're lucky, it would it would just damage the building. If we're not, it would p may kill a pedestrian. <laughs> like, like this. With that as a base, yeah. This would not. This is not structurally sound. That's what the wires are for. That's why they have them on bridges too. Actually. Indeed. But until then, uh, until we continue this uh, Nico bit next time, I'm surprised we finished Ireland in one episode. Same. But I've been Marek Dometa. And I've been Classic Gamer. And ciao. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played, edited, and recorded by me, Marek Dometa. And he's been helped by me, Classic Gamer. You can find a link to Classic's YouTube channel, Classic's Gamer, and his Twitch in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe.